WST Fab is a contract production focused machining and fabrication manufacturer. You know, our mix is, is split pretty evenly between our metal fabrication division and our CNC machining division. Probably push out two million parts a year. We do a lot of uh, machine castings, DOM tubing, alloy bar, and in our fabrication division, it's all structural carbon steel. Um, ultra high strength is a big portion of our business. We do a lot of big uh, fabricated parts. So I've been with the company for three and a half years. In that amount of time that, that I've been here and even before I was here, we always were looking for ways to automate. I think PCC was a cold call at first and got us thinking about, you know, cobots. And so we started thinking about it and, and really our engineering team just took the ball and ran with it. They made a case based on a specific family of parts that, you know, that we have talked about. And, and since the machine has been here, every week there's something new that we're trying to, to automate as much as we can. We really want our skilled employees to do skilled things and let the, the cobot do the repetitive tasks. The young minds that are coming in, I see are more digital. And I think we want to grow our force where we take our intelligence and apply it where intelligence can be used rather than having somebody sit in front of a machine all day and flip parts and do that. Where you can have a robot that's producing money and take your young minds and apply them to the next engineering role for that robot. Building a system around the robots, that's how I see our whole future going. We had been planning this with you guys for two months, I would say, before we had anything come in the door and we had a plan the entire time. We had a family of parts, six parts, a lot of them a year, and all of a sudden that just dropped the day you brought it in. Throughout the next week, it was kind of a panic, right? We're like, well, I don't know what we're gonna do with this thing. It's gonna sit in the corner. I don't know what's gonna happen. Two days later, um, I was looking at grippers. We'll, we'll change the grippers out, easy. And it was set up so universally that we could just change a few things here and there, and then we were off to the races. We just had to figure out how to program it and go on from there, and it's been easy. Um, there's nothing to it. So what I really liked about our experience with WST Fab is we want to come in and do a great job, but we want to hand the keys over to the customer and make sure that they can take what we've started and then run with it, expand on it, and build on it. And while it was not great news to get a phone call from the customer that says, hey, we just uh, got started and our customer pulled the rug out on us, uh, but to just see what Tyler did, not only to pivot that first week and make something happen, but to take that and run with it over the course of months, that's the way it should be every time. You know, is it every time? Of course not. But, you know, it's a, it's a testament to, I think, how we've designed our business. And it's a testament to Universal Robots' um, programming environment. Working with PCC, it was a dream. You know, I, we talked about what we were going to do. We made a plan. There was communication the entire way. We've spent numerous times on the phone with them at 8 o'clock at night with your engineering team just trying to figure out you know a little problem or hiccup that we had and instead of pulling my hair out for the entire night we figured it out and we're we're up and running again i would do it again in a heartbeat if i looked at a five-year plan i think we would be closer to five or six robots and i just feel like that when we have an offer to, for a job and a guy comes in to interview and he sees our process and says, wow, I don't have to stand in front of a machine for 10 hours and make these parts every day. They got a robot that does it. And all I got to do is teach that robot, take care of my tooling, and I can learn and ask questions and keep on going. I think our job offer looks much more, you know, favorable than somebody down the road that got the old day and stand in front of it for 20 hours. I think that's what we're going to grow and get better each, each year over other people.